Hello and welcome, Tiger fans, to another Maslin Tiger football game at Paul Brown, I mean, Tom Benson Hall of Fame Stadium. I'm your host, Darren Washington, along with Carter Nutter, and for tonight's matchup, we have Maslin versus McKinley. Arguably the biggest rivalry in high school football history. It should be a good one, right, Carter? I agree. This is definitely the biggest game of the season, and I'm excited to see how this turns out. How does it feel to be in this big, huge stadium? It feels amazing. The stadium looks great. I I just absolutely love it that on one side you have McKinley colors with the red and black, and then on the other side you have the orange and black. It's awesome. Yeah, just being here in this stadium is awesome, man. I'm telling you. And now some key things about this game. It's the 128th meeting here tonight, and we've got Canton McKinley with 53 wins against the Tigers and the Tigers with 69 wins against McKinley. So if we win tonight, that's 70 games of wins from Aslan against McKinley. So that's pretty interesting there. And uh, some things about uh, McKinley are they're eight and one, great team, very run oriented. Um, most likely doing a lot of wildcat. I saw Josh Chandler, number one for McKinley actually passing the ball and he's a running back and they were practicing him passing the ball and there's the Tigers getting some flack there but yeah McKinley has a lot of talented players on the skill player side and it should be a great game for them they just lost to Perry last week um, great game for both teams but now we have some key things about the Tigers are they're 6-3, uh, and three, uh, losing to St. Vincent St. Mary's last week. It was a good game. It was more of a defensive battle. If you watched, it was the score was 17-10, uh, to 10, I'm pretty sure. And it was just uh, a very defensive game. And I'm eager to see what kind of game this is going to be. I don't know if we're... Both teams are capable of scoring at high levels, but at the same time, both teams might be thinking more of a defensive approach. So uh, let's see how it goes. I definitely think that this is going to be a defensive battle today because we have Tigers that need a defense against the Wildcat and run, which is something McKinley tends to do a lot. And then we have McKinley that needs to kind of look out for Maslin's passing as we Maslin does that a lot as well. Another big factor in this game is the weather. I mean. Yeah, the ball is going to be wet. It's a little, it is wet outside. So let's see how this goes. And here's McKinley coming out. McKinley with the all red uniforms tonight. And Masson with the all white. Both, both bringing out uniforms they haven't worn recently. I mean, they wore, Masson wore white and orange, I believe, against Fitch. But, um, yeah, that's about it. Both teams having great fans, great atmosphere to be in. I'm shaking. It's just it's nice to see how many fans are here. Like, the crowd is just wild. This is the big game that every year every fan looks forward like to. to. Pay special tribute to the men and women who stood at attention for almost 10 extra minutes, representatives of the Canton JROTC program. I think the band here is getting ready to do the national anthem. Here we go. Here's the national anthem.
a nice performance by the McKinley Choir there. I'm not quite sure who won kickoff, so uh, we'll see who kicks and who receives. Looks like Anthony Ballard out there for Maslin's out there. I'm guessing they're gonna take the ball here. And we'll be back with our first half action after a word from Danbury Senior Living. You'll find a vibrant, life-enriching community at Danbury Senior Living. All the comforts of home and more awaits you. From our variety of beautiful apartments, to chef-prepared meals in our outstanding dining room, to creative recreational activities, Danbury Senior Living optimizes independence, wellness, and privacy while always being mindful of each resident's preferences for healthy, respectful aging. You'll have friendships, fellowships, and lots of fun at Danbury Senior Living. The lifestyle you desire and deserve. Discover the Danbury difference. Thank you again to Danbury Senior Living. And we are back here with some first half action. The game everybody's been waiting for. It seems like Maslin is kicking off. Yeah, it looks like Maslin's gonna kick the ball here. Claymore number two to kick the ball off. Keyshawn Watson back to receive the kick here. McKinley with an odd formation. It looks like they're getting ready for an onside kick, which um, is something that McKinley would do, or I mean Masson would do. So um, let's see what the plan is here. A weird formation for both teams. And they are going to kick it to Keyshawn Watson, number 34 here. Running up the field and gets stopped around the 30-yard line, but there's a flag out on the play. Let's see what that was here. Pulling around the 25-yard line there. Here we go. Uh, it's a handoff there. Willis, the ball carrier. Stopped quickly. Around the 47 yard line. That was number five, Javon Lewis on the run. Five, six. Five, six, 162 pound running back and they're gonna give it to him again here. And a nice tackle by Austin Kutcher there. Just coming out to play defense here. They have a lot of new people on offense, or I mean defense here tonight for Maslin. Third and five now for McKinley. They have trips receivers on the right, one on the left. Elijah Curtis all alone here in the backfield. We got a man in motion, and they're gonna give it to him. Takes off, and I think he got the first down there, but there is a flag on the play. Flag on the play, tackle by 32, Patrick Ford. That was number 29, Charles Hall with the run there. Holding number three on the offense. That was a holding call on number three, John Mack there. That's gonna push McKinley back a few yards. As you can see. Ball at 
Oh, there was the holding call. Now they're going to call it back here. Now third and 11. They're going to line up in the same formation, it looks like. But Curtis is back to pass. Looking around. Curtis gets loose. Gets the first down there. You have to watch a quarterback like Elijah Curtis. He's, he's a running type of quarterback, and he can kill you both ways. He can throw the ball, and he can also run it. This is what I was talking about before the game. They're going to do a lot of wildcats, and the quarterback is fast, so they need to watch out for him running. Yeah, here we go now. We've got uh, two, three men in motion there. And they're going to give it to Lewis. Lewis is taking it to the left side. Kutcher, nice tackle by Austin Kutcher there. Getting Lewis only a couple yards there. But we were right, Carter. They're running the ball a lot. I'm expecting both teams to do that, only coming out with a couple of trick plays. And they are going to give it to Lewis again here. Breaks the tackle, but staggers out of bounds. And that will be a first down there for McKinley. Ball is on Mastings 28. They've got four receivers out there, three on the right. Javon Lewis in the backfield with Elijah Curtis, and they're going to give it to Lewis. But he is stopped quickly on the line of scrimmage. Nice read there. I think that was uh, number 81, Ty Kearns there on the tackle. Now second and nine, ball on the 27-yard line. Nine minutes to go in the first quarter here. Elijah Curtis, it's a quick halfback toss to Keyshawn Watson. Watson breaking away, still up, and gets stopped. That was a very nice hit. I'm not sure who hit Keyshawn Watson, but they hit him with a lot of force, and he stayed up. And on the stop for the Tigers, junior DB, number 19, Dean Clark. Yeah, that was a hit made by Dean Clark there. Another halfback toss to the left side this time. Keyshawn and Keyshawn Watson gets stopped quickly. On the tackle, number 17, Keyshawn he took a hard upper chest hit there. Yeah, that was a like. tackle on Keyshawn. Ball on the 13, gain of one, second and nine. Now second and nine ball on the 13 yard line. The Masson defense has to do something here. And they're gonna give it to Watson. He breaks away to the left side. And I think that's a touchdown McKinley. And yes, that'll be a touchdown McKinley there. Well executed uh, half back toss by McKinley there. Now they're going to go for the extra point here. Sam Snyder with the kick there. And it's good. So now here at Tom Benson Hall of Fame Stadium, the score is seven. McKinley, Maslin, zero. We'll be back to Maslin's kickoff after a word from John George's convenience store. One of the most recognizable names in Maslin is John George's drive through Their fresh-made deli sandwiches are well known throughout the Maslin area. John George's will make special order lunches for your group or outing using only the finest ingredients. John George's has a large selection of snacks, drinks, and much more for a quick in and out. If you're really in a hurry, use John George's convenient drive through service. Stop by John George's drive through located at 32nd Street and Lincoln Way West. Again, 
to John George's convenience store as McKinley is getting ready to kick the ball off to Maslin and let's see what Maslin can do on their first drive. Yeah, here at the Tom Benson Hall of Fame Stadium, the score is seven McKinley, Maslin zero. McKinley came out with a strong run game with uh, Javon Lewis, number five, and uh, number 34, Keyshawn Watson. Both came out, ran the ball effectively. Two halfback tosses to Keyshawn Watson. That's what really got it started for him. And uh, let's see what the Maslin offense has for us. Maslin's defense just needs to be more careful of that McKinley run game. It's going to kill him all day. He's need to D up on him. Back to receive the kick is Anthony Ballard, number 21, and Tyree Royals, number 8. For Maslin. So let's see. Let's see what this uh, return team can do here. Sam Snyder getting ready to kick number 22. And it's off. And Ballard's going to field it here. Taking every block he can and gets stopped at the 25 yard line. Special team stop for the Bulldogs, number 30, senior Reggie Young. That was number 30, Reggie Young on the tackle there. But uh, let's see what this mass on offense can do. They've, they haven't really failed much this year. Uh, they've only um, had a couple minor games where like the St. Vincent St. Mary's game, they, they only had 10 points. That's the lowest scoring game they've had this year. But let's see what we've got here. We've got two receivers and they're actually gonna give it to Jameer Thomas here. Getting a couple yards on that one. So now second and eight ball at the 28 yard line. Eight and two to the 28. Second down eight. Same formation it's looking like. Two receivers out there. They fake the handoff and they get it to Austin Kutcher. Complete. Nice play Austin action Kutcher pass there. The Austin Kutcher can do you no wrong most of the time on the, on the wide receiver type screen plays. That was a great catch by Austin Kutcher. Yeah, he's been doing great all year. He had four touchdowns in one game. I mean, you can never go wrong with hitting a receiver that can do things like that. And that's going to be offsides on McKinley. Well played by Maslin. That'll get him the first down. That's a first down for Maslin. Now on the 38 yard line. New set of downs for the Tigers from the Maslin 38. Aiden Longwell back there with Jameer Thomas and they're gonna give it to Thomas. Jameer Thomas. Gets a couple yards on that one. Tripped Jameer up. Thomas is a great running back, and he'll get you to where you can do many things. So he'll get you to that third and five or that second and five where you can do many things. You can pass the ball. You can run it. You can do many things. And Aiden Longwell gets Austin Kutcher off the screen there. But he got quickly taken down by number... Uh, Number eight. Number eight. Senior defensive back, Xavier, Xavier Smith. Smith there on the tackle. Gain of a yard to the 42 yard line. It'll be third down six. Now third and six. Let's see what the Tigers can do here. Same formation it's looking like. And they're looking to throw. And they get it to Trayvon Morgan. Breaks a tackle, and I think he got the first down there. Nice catch by Trayvon Morgan, the 6'6 beast. Beautiful and well-executed play there. Very good cuts. Yeah, nice route ran. 
totally lost the cornerback on that one. They're probably looking more for Kutcher. They're probably trying to beat him up more than Trayvon Morgan. And they're going to give it to Jameer Thomas. Jameer he breaks Thomas. away to the left side. Another first down for and Matt another Hall. first down. They Up gave him the such an open field there. Yeah, he broke away to the left side. The um, nice run. Nice run by the Tigers. Like this is the game that they need to play if yeah. they want to move the ball up the field. For sure. Jameer and again, Thomas. breaks away to the left a little bit, but gets stopped Back quicker on that one. One of the captains, senior linebacker Daryl Daniels, number 24 on the stop. Is now second and Game eight two, on McKinley's 34-yard line. Two receivers on the right, Aiden Longwell back there with Jameer Thomas. Taking their time looking to the sidelines. Now they're ready. That's a lot. That's been working for the Tigers all year, looking to the sidelines, making sure their play's right. And that was a nice run by Jameer Thomas there. Again, he can get you into good situations. Now third and four, they can do a lot of stuff. As you can see here, gets to where he needs to be. Now third and four, let's see what the Tigers do here. They can do a quick wide receiver screen like they love to do. Only two receivers out there. And uh, Ian Longwell and Jameer Thomas in the backfield. They give it to Jameer Thomas, and he breaks away and gets the first down. Jameer Thomas is just shredding through their defensive line and keeps finding opening holes and just running through them and constantly keeps getting the first downs for the Tigers. Yeah, he, he might not be the fastest running back, but I'm telling you, they have Zion, who's in now, number 29, fast running back that can get you many yards and all they have to do is have Jameer break a couple tackles like he usually does and he's perfect now they're going to give it to Zion Pfeiffer cutting through and as you can see I'm telling you both running backs are very effective you have Zion who's a little bit smaller and can run the ball pretty quickly and then you have Jameer who's a little bit taller more stocky and can still make big cuts and shifty moves and now we have a timeout. All right. While we run down the timeout, you're going to hear a word from Bonnie's Engraver Engraver's Gallery. Engraver's Gallery and Signs in downtown Maslin has been your one-stop shopping destination for all things printing. Whether it be small projects like business cards, coffee mugs, and plaques, or larger items like personalized vital cutouts or full-color digital and printing. Their laser engraver is perfect for name tags and desk plates, and don't forget their large selection of trophies and photo frames. Once Bonnie's has your business logo, they can put it on just about anything. You can even bring in your own items to have personalized. Stop in today at Bonnie's Engraver's Gallery and Signs. In nature, red means danger. The red dart frog, deadly. The red mamba, deadly. Those red triangles on a black widow, you see where we're going with this. So when you foolishly think this is an opportunity to make a name for yourself, remember both nature and our menu warned you. So maybe pick a color more pleasing to your fragile palate. Maybe we suggest something in the green to yellowish section. again to Bonnie's Engraver's Gallery and Buffalo Wild Wings. We are back here now. The score here at Tom Benson Hall of Fame Stadium is McKinley 7, Maslin 0. Both teams playing very effective offense, running the ball a lot here on this rainy, wet, uh, 
cold kind of day. And I mean, that's the type of Fans, today's that's the type of game that you have to run. You have to run the ball a lot and hope for the best and only a couple short passes probably. Yeah, it seems like that plan is going to work from Maslin as it is second and two on McKinley's 16-yard line now. And now we got Zion Pfeiffer breaking up the middle. And I think he got that first and down there. The but there is a flag on the play here. Five yards for Dennis, number 10, and a defense first down. And yep, the ball's going to be moving up for the Tigers there. That will be a first down. That makes first it and first goal. and Mass nine. From the McKinley nine. Or first and goal, actually, on McKinley's nine-yard line. 327 and counting on the clock in the first quarter. Aiden Longwell back there with Jameer Thomas. They're going to give it to Jameer Thomas. Five Breaks away. Gets it to about the, the five-yard line. Number 10, senior linebacker Darius Houston. Goal placed just inside the six. Call it a game of three, second and goal. Now, second and goal on the six yard line here. Same formation. They do a little quick, quick movements to throw McKinley's defense off guard. Jameer Thomas trying and to Jameer get to Thomas the outside. Breaks a couple, breaks a couple tackles Josh there. Handler. Got him about two yards there. Now, third and goal. As you can see there, breaks Ball away, gets a couple four, yards. Third and goal. Now third and goal. Ball on the four-yard line. Knowing Masson. Oh, they've got only Jameer Thomas back there. No Aiden Longwell, where, are they, where is he going to go? And he gets stopped quickly by the McKinley Bulldogs there. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty easy play to read. It's hard to run wildcat like that sometimes. Well, they've been giving Jameer Thomas the ball almost the entire drive. So whenever you put him in the backfield alone, it's kind of like you can immediately guess that he's in a wildcat. It. Now we have fourth and four. They're gonna they're gonna go for this field goal here, and it's good. So now. At Tom we'll Benson Hall of Fame Stadium, the score is McKinley quarter, seven, Maslin three. McKinley a touchdown, Maslin a field goal. It's the Bulldogs seven and the Tigers three. And we are going to take this brief break to hear a word from Medicap Pharmacy. Hi, I'm Chris Kingsbury, and welcome to Medicap Pharmacy. Everyone knows it's the people that make the difference at your local Medicap pharmacy. Oh, yes, I've been coming here for 15 years. Oh, they're so friendly. You walk in and they know you. They call you by name. Well, this is my drugstore. I don't live too far and they're nice people. And don't forget about their free delivery. Support your locally owned independent Medicap pharmacy located on Lincoln Way West in Maslin. If you're like most people, your life is a series of brush strokes, large and small. Moments from the everyday to the extraordinary. As you move through your world, let Grange Insurance and an independent agent put the finishing touches on an insurance plan to meet your needs. Now, that's a stroke of genius. Buell and Oliveri Insurance is your Grange Independent Agent in Maslin. For auto, home, life, or business insurance, call or visit our website today. Thank you again to Medicap Pharmacy and Buell and Oliveri Insurance. As Keyshawn Watson just returned the kickoff and uh, made it to about it's about the 33-yard line. Now to see what you missed there, Keyshawn Watson broke a couple tackles, gets to around the 33-yard line. 
Um, the score here at Tom Benson Hall of Fame Stadium is seven to three, McKinley leading. Both teams establishing the run game early, only a couple passes. And uh, some wild, we saw a little bit of some wildcat action by uh, Jameer Thomas. McKinley still in the huddle here. Let's see what Maslin's defense can do to stop McKinley this drive. Hopefully they they started to understand a little more about how much McKinley runs the ball. As you can see in Maslin's drive, you can see how much they run compared to passing. Yeah, for sure. Now we've got uh, Keyshawn Watson in the Wildcat running Keyshawn. straight up the middle and drops to the ground. That play was looking very, that had a lot of potential, that play did. Unfortunately, he Tripped slipped up. up. Number one, linebacker Logan Amanaya, senior. Gain of six to the 26, second and four. Now Keyshawn Watson in the Wildcat again. They're going to give it to him. And a big hit by Logan Ananiah there. There is a flag on the play. Looks like a face mask on McKinley, I think. Yep, McKinley's going to go back for this one. McKinley is just getting killed with these penalties today. There have been four penalties called on McKinley so far. Yeah, I'm telling you, uh, it's gonna they're gonna have to step it step it up on that side of the ball. Um, now they have number one, Josh Chandler, who's a running back at quarterback. Flag on the play. We have another flag on the play. Looks like false start on McKinley again. Back-to-back -back penalties on two different plays. This is going to put them back on their own 15-yard line, going back even more. So now it's on the 10-yard line. Yeah, that just killed McKinley there. Now second and 20 on their own, on their 10, I'm pretty sure. Making Keyshawn Watson's run almost nothing. Josh Chandler looking to pass as a running back, and that ball was too far. Now I saw Josh Chandler warming up as a quarterback, it looked like. He was throwing the ball a lot, so maybe they're going to try to establish him and put him in there to relieve the quarterback a little bit. But um, I don't know if that was such a smart play there by McKinley. I mean, what do you think about them being third and 20? There's definitely no reason for them to hand this off. They should not, because Maslin's defense is now starting to stop everything. Now ball on the 10-yard line. Chandler, a low throw, and done. Two incomplete passes thrown by Chandler. Now fourth and 20. Looks like they're going to be forced to punt here. Yeah, that was a very nice defensive drive by Masson. I mean, I can't really say. I mean, there are so many penalties. It's hard to say who, who did better on that one. The penalty is definitely a kick to McKinley in that drive, and then two incomplete passes. That will not help. This drive is definitely favored by Masson. And it looks like McKinley's going to try to do something here, and they do but they do end up short punting it and they're just gonna let the ball roll, but great field position for Maslin regardless. I mean, they're getting placed on McKinley's 40. So yeah, this is a very great start. We have six seconds left here in the first quarter. First and 10 for Maslin on McKinley's 40 yard line. They have such a great starting point here. Yeah, that'll be that'll be uh, key for the Tigers now is to capitalize off this. They could get a score, be up by three points. I mean, very essential here for them to get a score. I couldn't agree more. Now we've got two receivers out there, Trayvon Morgan and Austin Kutcher. Long low in the backfield with Jameer Thomas, and they're going to give it to Thomas. Doesn't get too many on that one. Tried to get a quick spin. I don't think he got one on. I don't think he got a yard on that one. That will be end of the first quarter. 
One of the competitions off the field for the common good, the blood battle. We turn your attention to the video board for this report. We do it! Looking to replace that old worn out driveway? We do it! Thinking about a new patio to entertain family and friends? We do it! Big jobs? Small jobs? Customer satisfaction and quality you've come to expect? We do it! So call veteran owned Absolute Concrete a Massland today! And we are back at Tom Benson Hall of Fame Stadium. Thank you again to Tower Industries and Absolute Concrete. What's your take on this game, Carter? I definitely feel like if Mass if Mass can keep stopping them, if McKinley keeps getting these penalties, everything should work out perfectly fine here for Masslin. The fact, like their handoffs, are absolutely amazing. Their offense is actually playing very well so far. And now they just announced who won the Maslin McKinley blood drive, and that's going to be the Tigers. The Tigers won that, so um, that's awesome. So um, it's nice for the blood drive is a very nice thing because both teams honestly win. I mean, they're donating blood that'll help somebody else out, you know, so. There's really no winner to it, if you ask me. I I couldn't agree more. This is uh, this is the beauty in a rivalry is that you know not only is it just a game, but in the end, they both donate blood. They're both helping people out together. Now we got some football action here at the beginning of the second quarter here now. And the play is stopped. I don't know what happened there. There's no flag, I don't think. Maybe it, maybe it was a clock issue, or maybe the play was not officiated yet. This happens sometimes. It is still second and 10 on McKinley's 40-yard line. McKinley. McKinley is sitting at two timeouts. Maslin is staying at three. And they just uh, put the clock back to 12 minutes instead of 11.58. Now we've got Aiden Longwell back there with Jameer Thomas. Two receivers, Austin Kutcher and Trayvon Morgan. So um, let's see what they have here. Aiden Longwell gives it to Jameer Thomas, and he breaks away to the right Jameer side. Thomas. Then he gets about six yards on that one, maybe seven. And I'm telling you, he's a great running back and can get you places. He's a bigger running back, but he can still he can get you to certain spots, I'm telling you. So far, he has been actually pretty impressive on his runs today. Now we've got the same type of formation. They're looking to the sidelines. This is most of the time helps them the most. They take their time. Aiden Longwell looking to pass across and gets it to Trayvon Morgan. And that'll be a first down and more. What an excellent catch by Trayvon Morgan. Yeah, I'm telling you. Trayvon Morgan's a lengthy guy and he can just catch the ball whenever you need him to. You can throw it up as high as you want. 
Looks like there's an injury on the field for McKinley, number four. Yeah, that's uh, number four, Lonnie Richardson Parr. Not sure what happened. I think he was in the midst of the tackle on Trayvon Morgan. It might something might have happened. It landed wrong. He just seems to be struggling to get up. Both teams playing good on. All right. While they tend to this in injury, we are going to have a word with Maslin AAA. We were with Ruth when she ran into trouble on her way to play bridge with her friends. We were with the Nelsons when they planned their vacation of a lifetime. We were with Tina when she saved on the prescription she and her family need. And we'll be there with you. AAA membership gets you this, plus savings at hotels, restaurants, stores, and attractions when you show your card. Already a member? Renew. Not a member? Join AAA at AAA.com or any nearby office. AAA, we're always with you. Thank you again to Maslin AAA. Number four, Lonnie Richardson Parr has gotten up and he was over on the McKinley sideline now. Now, if you are just tuning in, everybody, the score here at Tom Benson Hall of Fame Stadium is McKinley seven, Maslin three. But um, both teams playing very good on the run game. And uh, let's see what Maslin can do on the 20 yard line with a first and 10 opportunity. Uh, They're going to give it to Jameer Thomas. He goes straight up the Jameer middle. Thomas straight up the middle. It's about five yards on that one. The they are now on the 16-yard line, a gain of four. Now third, I mean second and six here. Ball on the 16. They're going to give it to Jameer Thomas. He Jameer pushes it up. Now third and three ball on the 13 yard line for Mass. And let's see what they can do here. Probably going to run up with uh, Jameer Thomas. And they do give it to Jameer Thomas. He breaks away. Gets to about the two-yard line there. Nice run by Jameer. I'm telling you, he's shifty. Even though he's big and he's not the fastest, he's still shifty. And he can get you to where you need to be. What a great run. And they are now put on the two-yard line. Almost no work has to be put in to get this touchdown. Jameer Thomas. And that'll be a touchdown, Tigers. Jameer Thomas going at it again. That's going to put Maslin ahead. That makes it currently Maslin nine and then McKinley seven as Maslin comes out for the PAT. Yeah, here we go. This is big here. And Clay Mole gets it in, I think. No. Clay Mole missed that. I think that was his first miss all year. Someone, don't exactly know who, but a McKinley defender actually jumped in front of him just in time. I'm pretty sure he knocked it out of the way. Yeah, I think he just barely nipped it. Still, being up by two, still great. I mean, that'll give them a, if McKinley even scores here, if they score, it, McKin or Masson will still have a good chance to be able to come back and score and 
keep scoring and making it go back and forth. It's a stay ahead. Yep. Now both teams getting ready for kickoff. They're putting Keyshawn Watson, who was just at Maslin, by the way, last year, and decided to transfer over to McKinley. Clay Mole will kick off for the Tigers. On the home side of the field, number 34, Keyshawn Watson. And on the visitor's side, 29, Charles Hall. Both teams getting ready for kickoff. Clay Mole getting ready to kick here. Back to receive is uh, number 29, Charles Hall, number 34, Keyshawn Watson. And they're going to kick it to Watson here. Keyshawn Watson from his own And he's breaking away up the middle. But there is a flag on the play. And I don't know, I think, I don't know who, what flag that was on. There is a flag on the play. This may easily be taken back. Yep, that is on McKinley. As the stadium fills with booze. As you can see, there was a, I think it was a, an illegal block on McKinley there around the 40 yard line. But it was a great run by Keyshawn Watson. This can really turn the game around, you know. Having a big return like that and having all the adrenaline and thinking you got a touchdown and then you get taken back, you know, it can take a, it can put a toll on you. So uh, that is holding on McKinley, and it has been returned on their own 30-yard line. Yeah, that that's not very good for um, Sean Watson there. got three receivers and they're going to give it to number five Javon Lewis runs into his own blocker and gets the first down there now that play had a lot of potential he could have broken away farther um, if he didn't run into his blocker that was a hard that was a hard play for the Mass and Tigers to defend they didn't see Javon Lewis thinking about switching directions so it seemed as if his blocker was in his way yeah he couldn't he was right on the sideline he had nowhere to go Josh now they give it to Josh Chandler here he goes straight up the middle and gets a couple yards on that one nice run by Josh Chandler gain of nine second and one And they're going to give it to Keyshawn Watson. And a big hit there. That was by number 31, Preston Hodges. Nice tackle there. Now second and one. No gain on the flight. As you can see, low tackle by um, Preston Hodges there. And they're going to run it up the Chandler. middle. Josh Chandler, I don't, I don't know if he quite got it. Yeah, that'll be third down. Third and one for the McKinley Bulldogs on the 50-yard line. 8.23 left in the second quarter. McKinley at two timeouts. Maslin still at three. They're going to measure and see if McKinley came up short or not of the first down. I think they got it, actually. I think they did, too. No. Yeah, they, no, they got it. First down for McKinley here. First and 10 ball on the 49-yard line. Eight minutes and 23 seconds left here in the second quarter. 
very close call. Four receivers out there for McKinley. Three on the left side. Curtis looking to pass. Goes deep. And it's intercepted. Interception. An interception by number 38, Max Turner. Now, Max Turner has been coming out to play with a couple players getting um, kicked off the team. Max Turner has come up and stepped up in these past few games. He's, he has three interceptions with only playing about three to four games. He started playing in Firestone in the Firestone game. Got a one-handed interception. Plays against St. V, gets another big interception to about the 10-yard line for them to score. And now this, he gets a big interception. What an amazing play. That was such Max a great Turner. interception. Yeah. I'm telling you, he's come out to play. He's showed his role. And that makes the first actual turnover yeah, of this the game. game. First and 10 ball on the 15 yard line. Kutcher in motion. They're gonna give it to Jameer Thomas there, gets a couple yards. This Jameer could be Thomas an essential, this could be an essential possession for the Tigers. Still another tackle for Camden Kenley. Officials will place the ball at the 18. It'll be second down seven. Longwell is going to give it to Thomas again. He breaks away off to the right side. I think he's just short of the first down there. Yeah, that'll make it third and inches, actually. Combining on the tackle, Jordan Gardner and number 10, Darius Houston. They've got two receivers out there. And they're going to give it to Thomas, and I think he got the first down there. Yep, that will be first down for the Masson Tigers. Tripped up by Elijah Leathers, who's in there on the defensive front. New set of downs for the Tigers. Now first and 10 ball in the 25-yard line for the Tigers. Let's see what they can do here. Yep. I just cannot I cannot get over that interception by Max Turner. That was that was amazing. Aiden Longwell back there with Jameer Thomas. And they're gonna give it to Thomas. Gets stopped pretty much at the line of scrimmage there. McKinley's starting to pick up on the run patterns of Maslin. This see about these teams, both of these teams have a lot of time to study, you know, because they play week ten last game before playoffs so they've been probably scouting each other all year long so yeah for sure each other's patterns that'll be second and ten on Maslin's own 25 605 and counting left in the second quarter Jameer Thomas breaks a couple tackles gets to about the five yard line I mean the 30 yard line that'll probably bring up second and five I think that'll be third and five. Well, yeah, third and six. Third and six, third and six here. It'll be third down and six. Let's see what's gonna go on here. Longwell looking to pass. And he gets stopped in the backfield there. Longwell is looking injured, actually. He's yeah. not getting up at all. Yeah, Longwell got hit pretty hard on that one. He's not used to getting sacked. He's I don't, I don't know how many times he's been sacked this year, but it's not many. It's not been many. Yeah, 
While they attend to this injury, we are going to hear a word from Downtown Maslin Association. Proud to put the spotlight on Maslin, your Downtown Maslin Association features a variety of community events throughout the year. Events the entire family can enjoy. From our Summer Fun Fest to the Tiger Pep Rally, Santa's Cottage and Light Up Downtown, plus our partnership with Maslin Main Street for the annual Holiday Parade. To find out more about who we are, visit us online at www.downtownmaslin.net. Indians fans, Discount Tire Outlet Tire Pros is a proud partner of the Cleveland Indians. Now through October 31st, you can win great tire brands like General. Just register at Discount Tire Outlet Tire Pros online at MyDiscountTireOutlet.com or on Facebook for your chance to win a $500 General gift certificate or a Terry Francona autographed baseball. All tires and automotive service are backed by Tire Pros nationwide warranty, including roadside assistance coverage. Call the pros, Discount Tire Outlet Tire Pros. At Friends and Family Credit Union, you, the members, are the owners. Our friendly staff serves over 11,000 members, assisting with their financial needs and bettering their lifestyles. Hello, I'm Nick Langenfeld, President and CEO of Friends and Family Credit Union. Friends and Family Credit Union provides loans, savings, checking, and other financial services to anyone who lives, works, worships, or attends school in Stark County. Are you looking for something different? Stop in today to become a friend of the family. Downtown Masson Association, Discount Tire Outlet, and Friends and Family Credit Union as Aiden Longwell is taken to the sidelines. Now fourth and, fourth and 12 for Masson here. They're going to have to punt the ball. But Aiden Longwell out, that's a bad look. Magnus Haynes, a freshman, is the Tigers' cutter. Oh, dropped by Keyshawn Watson there. I don't know who has the ball, but I think Keyshawn came up with it. He dropped it twice. He went to pick it up after. And Masson, Masson. gets it. Masson's going to get a hold of the ball here. Turnover number two. Over two drives. Yeah, Keyshawn Watson fumbled the ball there as he went for the. He went to catch it, and I, he just got ahead of himself and ran without the ball, and then runs back, tries to get it, but he missed it. He also tried to pick it up again, then dropped it again. And then by then, he was surrounded by a bunch of Maslin defenders. I'm interested to see who the quarterback's going to be out here. And it is number 14, Jacob Catrone. And they're going to give it to Jameer Thomas 14, there. The Thomas gets a couple yards. I'm not sure if Masson's going to really try to throw the ball now that they've got a different quarterback in here. Looks like an interesting quarterback one, switch. Down. Nobody's coming out to play quarterback. And it looks like they're going to have Jameer Thomas do a Wildcat play of some sort. Four minutes left here in the second quarter. And Jameer Thomas slips and falls there. I wonder if 
Faden's going to be able to get back in today. He seems to be fine over there on the sideline. Just kind of walking around. It seems like he's kind of trying to exercise himself. Catrone looking to pass. Good ball there. Oh, and it's dropped by Austin Kutcher. I thought it was a good ball, but it, it went a little bit low there. And then it's going to be harder to catch low balls here tonight. As you can see here, it looked like a good ball, and then it went a little bit short and bounced right off of Kutcher's helmet, it looked like. Fourth down, 11. Now fourth and 11. They're going to have to punt the ball here. Well, they're not going to punt the ball here, folks. They're going to they're going to try to do something here. Aiden's on the sideline. It seems like he's throwing, actually, so he may be coming back in. Looking to pass across the field, and it's intercepted by Richardson Carr. And it gets this three flags out. Take this one back. Yeah, it seems to be on McKinley. The crowd looks like appears the refs to be are the, Looks like the refs are discussing it. So who knows? It could go one way, could go the other. They might put McKinley back a couple yards depending on what happened here. Fifteen yard penalty on McKinley. The defense, fifteen back. So they still keep the ball, but they lose fifteen yards. They'll be put on the thirty five yard line. Thirty seven yard line, excuse me. Yeah, now first and ten ball on the thirty seven yard line. I don't want Maslin to forget that they're up here, so they got to try. Let's try to keep it started. But look, there's a false start there. 43 went to move there. That was uh, that was number 43, Will uh, Thomas. Another penalty for McKinley. Well, it was more of an illegal motion. It looked like 43 went to go move to motion to the left side, but nobody else moved, so. That was really a miscommunication on the offense. And this is what's killing them. I mean, McKinley looks a little bit on different pages. And they're going to give it to Josh Chandler. Josh Chandler, tackled by his opposite number, one, Logan Ananaya. Now second and five, ball on the 42-yard line. And another penalty here. False start on the offense again. Offense are moving, the offense is moving back again. I'm telling you, McKinley cannot stop moving. That's going to make it, was that going to be third and ten? Second and ten. Second and ten ball on the 38-yard line. And it's a quarterback keeper, Josh, Josh Chandler. Chandler keeps the football. 
He gets stopped there. That'll bring up a third down situation. But um, McKinley's got to get it together here. They're they're not quite sure what they want to do. What they want to do there and. Definitely seems like there's a lot of miscommunication on the McKinley's end with how many penalties are going on. Josh Chandler and Keyshawn Watson in the backfield. And they're going to give it to Watson. He's breaking away. But it, he gets tackled pretty quickly there. That'll bring up fourth down. That, that was well read by the Tigers there. I couldn't agree more. The way they executed it, they started seeing that he was starting to cut to the right. And uh, as he started noticing that the Tigers were reading, he tried to cut left, but there was too many defenders behind him, so he had to just get taken down. Yeah, it was a nice read by number 60, Lucas McGuire. Now, if he would have pushed just a little harder, he would have got there because he got blocked back a little bit, and then if he, he tried to switch around and run back to him, but it was too late before Keyshawn Watson got there. All right, and we're gonna take a moment and hear from the massive YMCA. Hi. My name is Jim Stanford. I'd like to welcome you to the Maslin Family YMCA. Come on inside, let's take a look around. There are many reasons to join the Y. Building endurance, losing weight, strengthening your heart. When you join the Y, you're committing to more than simply becoming healthier. You are supporting the values and programs of strength in our community. At the Y, children learn what they can achieve and we all build relationships that deepen our sense of belonging. We've been a part of the community for over 100 years. Maslin City Schools is proud to have one of the top career technical education programs in the state of Ohio, recently receiving a number one ranking of the 93 districts in the area of achievement. Our career technical education department offers 14 pathways preparing students for college and careers. All students have the opportunity to participate and compete in their career technical student organization, as well as obtain valuable experience in the field while earning aligned industry credentials and or college credit in high school. Visit MaslinSchools.org for more information. And we are back at Tom Benson Hall of Fame Stadium. Thank you again to Maslin YMCA and Maslin City Schools. Here we go, McKinley getting ready to punt the ball. McKinley's just very dis discombobulated here tonight he's they're they're just not on key with their offense certain people are not moving and then you see like two players run up to that guy that made the mistake and they're like they're trying to point around and tell them where they're supposed to be it's just a lot of miscommunication by McKinley at the same time it's benefiting Maslin a lot Look up at the scoreboard screen, if you will. Five, seven, four, six, seven. Everyone here at WHS TV would like to thank the following sponsors for their financial support of our TV broadcasts. Reliable Heating and Cooling, Danbury Senior Living, Cosmos Grill, Maslin AAA, Expert Auto Collision, Tower Industries, John George's Convenience Store, Discount Tire Outlet, Friends and Family Credit Union, the Massive YMCA, Home Appliance, Rankle and Reese Motorsports. Elijah Curtis. Wait a minute, I'll let you finish that, the second half of that, point, after this play here. here. And here goes the young man, number 19, Dean Clark. Dean Clark back to return. A low snap, and they're going to punt it. Low line drive kick, and coverage by the Bulldog special team. Ball is actually down by number six, Kayvon Hunter. And to me on that play, 
Oh, wait a minute. Never mind. I'll let you finish your um, thank yous. Rankle and Reese Motorcars, Downtown Masson Association, Bonnie's Engravers Gallery, Medicap Pharmacy, Buffalo Wild Wings, Howard's Tiger Rags, Absolute Concrete, Buell and Oliveri Insurance, Maston Quick Print, Mercy Medical Center, Stark State College, the Maston Museum, and MCTV. Yes, again, thank you to all our sponsors. And Aiden Longwell is back in here. And they give it to Jameer Thomas. He gets a couple Thomas. yards there. But it's nice to see that Aiden Longwell is back Wolf here, you know. One, we need him at the quarterback position. Now one minute and 23 seconds left here in the second quarter. Both teams have one timeout left, so. Between Maslin and McKinley, designated as a feature game in the nationwide. All right, and we'll American be back Robert after a word from Rankel and Reese Motorcars. Financing, financing, financing. If you need a great deal and great financing to go with it, Rankle and Reese Motorcars is the right choice for you. We specialize in great deals, great cars and trucks, great service, and yes, great financing. From low interest rates to 72 months financing, we will ensure you get the lowest payment possible. Bad credit, good credit, or rebuilding your credit. Let us help you get the right deal and the right financing at Rankle and Reese Motorcars. When others want to say no, we want to say yes. Rankle and Reese Motorcars on West Tuscan Canton or RankleandReeseMotorcars.com. Thank you again to Rankle and Reese Motorcars. And we are back at Tom Benson Hall of Fame Stadium. And Aiden Longwell is going to give it to Jameer Thomas Jameer here. Thomas. Breaks the tackle. He jumped over a defender Out there. The 30 yard line. Looks like Elijah Leathers, number 11. No, check that. Number 13, Terrell Williams tripping up the Mathlin ball carrier. But now third and three ball in the 30-yard line. Three. A minute left Tigers in the second the quarter. I'm telling you, this game's been very good. It's the fact of the low scoring of this game, how it's only nine to seven, is I can't explain it. I mean, I don't want to say that both defenses are playing extremely well. Uh, McKinley's had a lot of burps this game. They've been having some stumbles they don't quite know where they where their players need to be as as uh, Maslin uses their last time out there help us celebrate WHS TV's 50th anniversary be sure to like us on Facebook Twitter and Instagram and don't forget to subscribe to us on WHS TV's YouTube channel, where you can see some of WHS TV's best moments. Yeah, make sure you tune into our YouTube channel. It's a great experience. You see many student done projects, so um, make sure you tune in. Now only 40 seconds left, third and three. Let's see what the Tigers do here. With only 40 seconds, I don't know whether to expect a pass or a give, and they do give it to Jameer Thomas. Thomas. And he gets stopped, Third and that'll bring up fourth down. Terrell Williams, second consecutive stop. However, it is a first Maslin down. Maslin did get a first down on that play. First and 10 for Maslin on yep. their own 34. Clock is running here. 25 seconds of running left in the second quarter. Let's see what Maslin does here. And they give it to Jameer Thomas here. Jameer Thomas. And he gets stopped. Now only 10 seconds left. Marker. I think they're just going to let the clock run out well, here. And that is first half of the Maslin versus McKinley game. Maslin 9, McKinley is 7 as we go into the half. Yeah, it's been a great game. Yes. Masson Washington Tigers nine, the Kent McKinley Bulldogs seven. We will be back after the we will be back for the performance of the Masson Tiger Swing Band after a word from reliable heating and cooling. Everything that goes into a Lennox system is engineered for absolute comfort. 
like the parts that create your perfect temperature and humidity, or the parts that purify the air. Together, all these parts save you up to half off your heating and cooling bills. And there are few things more comforting than that. The future of home comfort is here now at Reliable Heating and Cooling. Get the latest innovation and technology at Reliable. Linux. Innovation never felt so good. Thank you again to Reliable Heating and Cooling. As the Maslin Tiger Swing Band gets ready for their show. Let's begin with our guest from Maslin, the recipient, Andy Allman. Andy played in the Maslin and McKinley rivalry his senior season. He helped lead his team to two victories over McKinley in the regular season and during the playoffs before 29,500 fans. Andy began his collegiate career at the University of Pittsburgh as a defensive lineman, then transferred to the University of Akron his junior year to play on the offensive line. In 2007, Andy was drafted third round, 88th overall, where he played offensive line for the Miami Dolphins and Kansas City Chiefs. Get the latest news about your Mass and Tigers from head coach Nate Moore on the Nate Moore Show. Tune in every Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. on Mass and Cable Television, channel 611 and 11. Don't miss the Nate Moore Show, brought to you each week by Reliable Heating and Cooling. From Kent McKinley, Richard Kempthorne. Dick played in the McKinley and Madison rivalry in 1941, 1942, and 1943, helping lead McKinley to a 35 to nothing win in 1942 and a state title. We'll be back once again with the Tiger Swing Band after a word with Howard's Tiger Rags. In two separate tours of Howard's Tiger Rags in downtown Maslin has the best selection of Tiger apparel in the area. And this year, Howard's Tiger Rags is the proud sponsor of The Swing TV show on WHS-TV. Get the latest football t-shirts available in short and long sleeves, along with great looking hoodies. And don't forget about their infant and toddler apparel. See their large selection of memorabilia along with mugs and glasses. Need a tiger hat? Howard's has dozens. And see their prom apparel as well. Stop in at Howard's Tiger Rags in downtown Maslin and like them on Facebook. Tiger Rags. Congratulations, downtown Madison. Mr. Dick Kempthor. Let's give a big round of applause for the latest inductees into the Great American Rivalry Series Hall of Fame. And now, it's showtime. And now, the Maslin Tigers Swing Band. Under the direction of Jason Neal. Assisted by Jen Smith-Eisler, Chris Nussbaum, Jim Unterdorfer, Amy Ward, and Dina Doherty. Then onto the field by drum major Keaton Gibbs and OB the Tiger Madison Hall. This is the 2017 edition of the Maslin Tiger Swing Band with the Maslin tradition since 1938. Fanfare, Tiger Red, and carry on.
Today, the Tigers Swing Band presents highlights from our 2017 season. From our dance show, we feature our major at line two, Land of a Thousand Dances. show today proud to say that we're an American band.
Ladies and gentlemen, the 2017 edition of the Nassman and Tiger Swing Band. We'll be back with more second half action after a word from Home Appliance. At Home Appliance, we understand. Choosing new appliances is sort of a big deal. You do the research, and we totally get that. You see, while big corporate stores may have appliance departments, we have an appliance obsession that inspires what we recommend and the services we deliver. Save big on Frigidaire Gallery appliances. The all-new Frigidaire Gallery French door refrigerator is filled with innovations that help you organize at the speed of life. It's home appliance, for real. guys to the Tom Benson Hall of Fame Stadium. The score here is 7-9, Maslow leading. Everyone here at WHS TV would like to thank the following sponsors for their financial support of our TV broadcasts. Reliable Heating and Cooling, Danbury Senior Living, Cosmos Grill, Maslin AAA, Expert Auto Collision, Tower Industries, John George's Convenience Store, Discount Tire Outlet, Friends and Family Credit Union, Maslin YMCA, Home Appliance, Rankle and Reese Motor Cars, Downtown Maslin Association, Bonnie's Engravers Gallery, Medicap Pharmacy, Buffalo Wild Wings, Absolute Concrete, Howard's Tiger Rags, Buell and Oliveri Insurance, Maslin Quick Print, Mercy Medical Center, Stark State College, the Maslin Museum, and MCTV. Now, McKinley getting ready to kick the ball here. Carter, what's your take on the first half? 
Um, the first half, I think, was I think it was very mixed actually with pass and running. McKinley seemed to abuse a running game with Keyshawn, and that actually has helped them out a bit. But at the same time, they got punished by the penalties. And then with Maslin, I feel like if they just keep up what they're doing and keep the defense up, they'll be perfectly fine for the game. And here we go, Anthony Ballard fielding the kick. They fake give it to Tyree Broyles, and that was a very good return there. Now he faked like a handoff to Tyree Broyles. McKinley didn't really go for it, but. For a minute though, I thought that he actually did reverse it. Yeah, it looked like he reversed it, but I think some of the McKinley players just stopped dead in their tracks, and then it was a little bit of a delay, and then Anthony Ballard got to about the 34-yard uh, line. So now first and 10 Tigers. Ball on the 34-yard line. They've got two receivers out there and Jameer Thomas. And they give it to Jameer. Another carry for Jameer Thomas. And he only gets a couple yards on that one. The initial but yeah, this has been the story of the game, running Michael the ball Thompson, and doing one. things like Captain that. Josh Chandler. Both defenses playing well, but Maslin hasn't really had to do too much because of all the penalties that McKinley's been getting. Penalty has been, penalties for sure have been playing defense for Maslin this game. And Austin Kutcher gets the ball there and gets a first down. When Aiden was injured, Maslin was actually almost in trouble because Aiden is definitely one, he's a star quarterback on the team. He's definitely, set, he's a very useful tool for this offense. Yeah, here we go. Aiden Longwell looking to the sidelines, finding out what play they're gonna run here. And they're going to give it to Thomas. Here, Thomas. Reggie Young, leading tackler on the season, leading tackler in this game from the Bulldogs. Ball placed at the 48. Game of three, second and seven. A long well back. Trayvon Morgan and Austin Kutcher on the left side only. And they give it to Jameer Thomas. Jameer Thomas. Breaks up the middle. By That'll be a good third down situation for the Darryl Tigers Daniels. here. He is taken down at the 50 yard line, it seems. Number eight, Smith. Third and three on Maslin's own 48. Actually, no, it's McKinley's 48 now. Long wall back. And they give it to Thomas. And he gets stopped there. I'm not, I don't think he got the first down there. That'll bring up like fourth and two. That'll be fourth and two. Fourth and one, actually. Ball on the 46 yard line. Is Maslin going to go for it or are they gonna bring out the punting unit? And it looks like they are gonna bring out the punting unit, but don't, don't think they're gonna punt it immediately. You never know. Sometimes they'll pull out tricks for this game, you know. Back deep, number 34, senior Keyshawn Watson. Yep, there it is. Big. And they and passed. I think he got it. First down, Maslin. First down, Maslin. See, I, I saw that coming. A uh, trick play. I mean, if you, if, you, if you think about it, whenever you see here, they really, they aren't far from the red zone for McKinley. So even if they punted it, yeah, McKinley would kind of like, they'd be very far back in their own zone. But at the same time, if it's fourth and one, you might as well just go for it. Yeah, I understand what you're saying there, Carter. 
Longwell is going to give it to Jameer, Jameer Thomas. Thomas. Makes a couple cuts. Back inside and met by number 64. Gain of two. Micah Clemson. Both teams are, have been pretty disciplined here tonight as far as emotions go. Nobody's really well, jumped out of their shoes. 40, and um, Both teams Second remain down, disciplined. Down. A no. very sportsmanlike game. Yeah, that perfect way to put it right there. It's been very sportsmanlike. Not really anything that you would see in any other game. You know, there's going to be some people that, you know, push, shove around, but still. Jameer Thomas, Jameer Thomas gets hit quickly on that Josh one. Chandler. Got a gain of one on that play. Third and six on McKinley's 39-yard line. Seven minutes, 39 seconds, and taking left in the third quarter. I'm telling you, the Tigers do very well in these types of situations. I wouldn't put it past them to third keep converting down, on third seven. downs. They haven't really had too many fourth downs, so let's they see what they do. They really keep McKinley guessing. Long see, while looking to pass here. Right across the middle to Kutcher. That was a great pass. Kutcher, that was a great play there. That is exactly what I mean there. Yeah, they they just guessing. play with their minds. Like they'll be doing a running play for a first set of downs. The next set of downs, they'll be, you know, completely switching it up, doing a pass run. Different type of formation they have here. Jane Ballard in motion. And they're going to get it to Pfeiffer. Zion Pfeiffer. Thomas. Getting taken down around the 30 yard line. Gets two yards on that one. Solid run by Zion. We'll call it second and nine at the 30. Tigers were trying to make McKinley stay undisciplined like they have in this game as far as um, the plays go. And they give Pfeiffer it to Pfeiffer again. Back Gets stopped again quickly. That'll bring up third and long, Tackle it seems Darryl like. Daniel. With the assist number 57, Rick Simmons. <laughs> Number 57 on the defense. Getting a little nasty with Zion. Yeah, I saw. Nassau not quite sure what they want to do. McKinley's getting their crowd hyped up. Nassau deep ball to Trayvon Morgan. And he oh. drops it. That was right in his hands that and it was, slipped right through. That was a great that was a great ball by Aiden Longwell there. As you can see here, great ball and it just bounced. It seemed like he went to catch it and it just bounced right off his helmet. That's not very Fourth good down, for the Max in there. Yards to go, Third and eight, and McKinley's 29. The crowd's going wild. It looked like a little bit of a delayed snap there. Ball start on offense. Yep, because I could see, I could see how Aiden Longwell had a hesitated kind of movement. Now third and 13. Masson's got to make a play here. And I'd love to see him pass the ball, but I don't know. I, You can never know with them. And I just really want them to uh, 
pass their pass, ball here. Their pass game isn't bad at all. I mean, earlier they had that one interception, but then Aiden came back in. He's been landing some pretty good passes, so hopefully they can keep that up. And they are looking to pass. Longwell gets stopped in the backfield, looking to throw, and he gets sacked in the backfield. I'm not too sure about that movement that Aiden Longwell made. He kind of dropped back, and he did a little bit of a stutter step, and as he was dropping back, he couldn't go anywhere. I feel like he could have, he should have remained looking and scrambled to the left side. Or at least just try to get rid of it. But then again, they are on the 41. Oh, McKinley has the ball now. I thought Maslin was going to punt it. Unless that was their fourth down. We will be back after hearing a word from Maslin Quick Print. A Maslin staple for over 40 years, Maslin Quick Print is your one-stop shop for all your printing needs. Before you shop the internet, come downtown to see Maslin Quick Print first. Experience their top-notch customer service and offset printing capabilities. They also specialize in copy services, print media, brochures, invitations, and much more. Visit Maslin Quick Print on 1st Street Northeast in downtown Maslin. Expert Auto Collision, located on Genoa Avenue in Maslin, has been serving Sark County for over 35 years with expert customer service and collision repair. Bring in your wrecked vehicle and they'll immediately get to work with you and your insurance company to get your vehicle back to pre-accident condition as soon as possible. Come see me, Tara, at Expert Auto Collision the only female-owned and operated collision repair center in Northeast Ohio. Thank you again to Maslin Quick Print and Expert Auto Collision as we go back to Tom Benson Hall of Fame Stadium where McKinley will start their offensive drive. Josh Chandler, Josh Chandler the on the carry. The They've been running him at all different types of positions here tonight. They've had him at quarterback. They've had him at running back. Let's see what the McKinley offense can do here. Now, they've been a little bit um, disorganized, and I feel like Masson should have took advantage of that by scoring last possession. If they would have scored, it would have made it more, it would have made it harder for McKinley to score here. Elijah Curtis is going to give it to Josh Chandler. Josh Chandler breaking up the middle, and he gets the first court, or he gets the first down. 45 yard line, first and 10, Bulldogs. As you can see here, he just finds an opening as Dean Clark actually leaps onto him, taking him down before he gets too free. He gets shoved right out of bounds, but for another first down. Nope, there's a flag, flag. on the play. I'm telling you, the flags are killing them. That's going to put them on the 45-yard line of Maslin's 45-yard line. Still first and 10. 4.55 left here in the third quarter. Maslin still with nine and McKinley with seven. I just don't want this to end up like the St. Vincent St. Mary's game where we're up and then all of a sudden we get we get hit with a touchdown. Like it would be it wouldn't be good if McKinley ended up scoring in the late in the fourth quarter and then we're we're stuck behind and don't have enough time to really capitalize. Especially in a game like this where both teams just want to beat each other. That's all they want. They want to be able to say they won. Elijah Curtis back. 
And they give it to Josh Chandler again. Josh and he gets Chandler stopped quickly there. Number 54 for the Tigers. That's Hunter Wentz, junior lineman. Now first and six or second and seventeen. Ball on the fifty yard line for McKinley. Ball at midfield. We'll call it second down. It's gonna be 14. hard. It's gonna be a hard possession here. And it's gonna be a quarterback keeper, and they get stopped in the backfield. What a great oh, read the by the Tigers there. That's they had the three Tigers right play. in the backfield, ready for Elijah Curtis, as you can see. They just completely broke through their offensive line and immediately hopped on him. He had nowhere to go and no time to react. Now third and 12, ball on the 48 yard line. I mean. Third down, 16. Yeah, third down and 16, ball on the 48 yard line. Curtis back to pass, gets in trouble. Looking still, quick pass, and they got him. I'm pretty sure that'll bring up a fourth down. You can tell on the field a little bit that people are starting to get a little rowdy towards each other. A little more shoving, a little more, a little more vigorous actions towards each other after every play is done. Now fourth and 11. McKinley looks like they're going to punt the ball here. And nope, they're looking to pass. Quick pass to Josh Chandler and nobody's over there. But I think, I don't think he got the he first get down. He didn't get it. He'll be a yard shy of the first down. Yep, he didn't get it. Maslin is now... They're now able to take the ball and take this possession. As see you on the can replay. See Josh, Josh Chandler broke away to the left side. Gets hit low, thinks he's got it, and then he was just shy of the first down. On fourth and 11, making that kind of play is really risky because you have a lot to run. And you have to make sure you have a lot of blockers in front of you, but the defense just collapsed on him too quick. Couldn't get those few extra yards for the first down. Now first and 10 for the Tigers ball on the 36 yard line. Two minutes and 42 seconds left in the third quarter here at Tom Benson Hall of Fame Stadium. Aiden Longwell gives it to Zion Pfeiffer. Breaks a couple tackles. Run out of bounds by Gets Lonnie about five yards on that one. Again, nice run by Zion. This is the first game that they've been letting him touch the ball a lot. He got hurt. I'm pretty sure it was two games ago. He got hurt, and they haven't been playing him as much. And they're going to give it to Zion Pfeiffer again. Carry. Taken down right away. It's going to be now third and seven. Top, yep, now third and seven. Ball on the 39-yard line. Of a yard to the 39. Two minutes and 15 seven. seconds left here in the third quarter. Longwell looking to pass. And he gets it to Kutcher. And he connected there. I'm not quite sure if he got the first down. Great catch. He, yeah, he did get the first down. He caught the ball about two yards ahead where he was supposed to be. As you can see on the replay here. A big pass and then. Great catch by Austin Kutcher. Aiden Longwell back there with Jameer Thomas. Oh. 
deep ball to Trayvon Morgan. It was a little too high. For number seven, Trayvon Morgan. That was well covered, though. I think that was um, number eight, Xavier Smith. Um, he played that pretty well. Got a, got physical enough to to where he can't get called for and uh, pass interference call. So he, he defended that one pretty well. I agree. Very great coverage. And they give it to, I Mayor cannot Thomas see, I think that was Junior Thomas there. Yep, that was Junior Thomas there. At the 48 yard line, Tigers facing third down, 10. Longwell back, looking to pass, and it goes out of bounds. Looks like it was going to Trayvon Morgan. There's a flag on the play that might be pass interference. No, it's not. That was uh, holding on number 50, Dion Williams. Now they're going to bring out the, the punting team here. Number 42, Magnus Haynes. That keeps for the Bulldogs, number 34, Keyshawn Watson. Keyshawn Watson back to receive. There's only 39 seconds left in the third quarter here. And he kicks it. Putting pressure on the putter, number eight, and Xavier Smith. That was a, it depends on how you look at it. I mean, the clock is, the clock is stopped at uh, 31 seconds. Let's see what McKinley can do here. Again, this game is a little bit scary for me, Carter, seeing as last week the Tigers lost. Um, it was either 13 or 17 to 10, and it was in this same type of situation. We're up most of the game, and then at, right at the very end, McKinley scores, and then we have no time to score, you know. And we'll be back with McKinley's drive after a word from Tower Industries. Again, the Tower Industries as we get ready for McKinley's drive after Maslin being forced to punt it out. Yeah, first and 10 here for McKinley. Ball on the 28 yard line. Only 31 from seconds up here in the third quarter. So let's see what they can do. Elijah Curtis. And they give it to Javon Lewis here. Javon Lewis breaking away to the right side. Javon Lewis turns for and he goes out of bounds. Nice run Mark by Javon Lewis. And he ran out of bounds, so the clock is still stopped. First and ten, McKinley. Curtis gives it to Lewis again here. Again, Javon Lewis. Stop for the Tigers, number 54, Hunter Wentz. Ten seconds and counting left in the third quarter. Yeah, now, now three seconds and the clock's just going to run out here. That's in the third quarter, going into the last quarter of the game. 
the 148th meeting to score. Hassel a nine, McKinley seven. All right, and we'll head back into the fourth quarter after a word from Stark State College and Maslin AAA. Where you are in life, Stark State is the smart choice. The lowest tuition rate in the area, along with flexible schedules, online courses, and degrees that lead to in-demand careers or make it easy to continue your education. Small classes, professors with real-world experience, and a campus close to home. Plus, more than 95% of Stark State grads secure a job or continue their education. Choose Stark State College. Spend less. Earn more. Go further. Register now. We were with Ruth when she ran into trouble on her way to play bridge with her friends. We were with the Nelsons when they planned their vacation of a lifetime. We were with Tina when she saved on the prescription she and her family need. And we'll be there with you. AAA membership gets you this, plus savings at hotels, restaurants, stores, and attractions when you show your card. Already a member? Renew. Not a member? Join AAA at AAA.com or any nearby office. AAA, we're always with you. Thank you again to Stark State College and Maslin AAA as we head back into the fourth quarter now where McKinley will have the ball on their own 46, second and seven. Elijah Curtis is going to give it to Josh, Josh Chandler, Chandler there. Met by his opposite number, Logan Ananiah. Well placed at the Maslin 49. Third down and two. Now third and two ball on the 49 yard line. Elijah Curtis in the backfield with Josh Chandler, and they give it to Josh Chandler. And he gets the first down there. As you can see, they give it to Josh Chandler. He breaks over. Three receivers out there. And they're going to give it to Chandler. He breaks away. And a big run there by Josh Chandler. See, now this is what I was afraid of. A late, an early score, a late score in the fourth quarter. And this could potentially lead to that unless the Tigers pull something up here. They're going to give it to Chandler again. Chandler met by a swarm As they slam him Tigers. to the ground. Yep. Leading the way for Maslin, number 18, junior linebacker Cameron Simpson. Second down, six. But yeah, that's what I was afraid of, is a score in the fourth quarter when Masson might not have much to do. A very nice read by Kaishad Mack there. Very great catch there. Nice to catch him in the backfield before he could gain any more yards and just they just put him down. Third and four on Masson's seven yard line. 10 minutes left here in the fourth quarter. They give it to Chandler again. As he slips up through the gap, through the gap. Ball, 
And I'll be first in the first and goal on the three yard line. They give it to Chandler. They stop him. Stopped. Curtis gives it to Chandler and he gets the touchdown. Again, this I told you about this, this is what I was afraid of was the score in the fourth quarter. That can make it that will make it way harder for the Tigers seeing as they only have a quarter to score. But uh, I hope we can come back out on offense and make something happen. In the end, there is still 9 minutes and 15 seconds, so Masson still does have plenty of time to make something happen here. They need to really step it up, as McKinley has stepped up themselves. There's a flag on the play. like now McKinley's going to try conversion. to Yeah, they're, it looks like they're going to try to go for two. And a trick play will get them into the end zone. That will now make 15 and 9 McKinley. That one was by number 67 Sio Sapala. And he's an outside linebacker and defensive lineman. I mean, that was a pretty, that was a crazy trick play there. We'll be back with the kickoff to Maslin after Friends and Family Credit Union. Welcome to our newly renovated downtown office of Friends and Family Credit Union. Hello. I'm Nick Langenfeld, President and CEO of Friends and Family Credit Union. Friends and Family Credit Union provides loans, savings, checking, and other financial services to anyone who lives, works, worships, or attends school in Stark County. We provide financial needs in the most reasonable and cost-effective way. Stop in one of our three full-service locations today and become a friend of the family. At veteran-owned Absolute Concrete of Maslin, we do it! Looking to replace that old worn out driveway? We do it! Thinking about a new patio to entertain family and friends? We do it! Big jobs? Small jobs? Customer satisfaction and quality you've come to expect? We do it! So call veteran owned Absolute Concrete of Massa today! to Friends and Family Credit Union and Absolute Concrete. If you are just joining us, the score here at Tom Benson Hall of Fame Stadium is McKinley 15, Maslin 9. Carter, what do you have to say about this game so far? I mean, I'm, I'm a little disappointed because now Maslin needs to either get two field goals or they must land their PAT unless they want to go to overtime. 
and they need to step up the defensive run against Chandler because Chandler's been running all over them all day. Yeah, I mean, there still is nine minutes and 15 seconds, but you never know with the long defensive stops that both teams have been getting. It can last almost the whole game. Exactly. So. They did a short kick there. Stopped at about the 29, 28 yard line. Let's see what the Tigers can do here on offense. This is more of their strong suit. Longwell looking to pass. And it looked like it was going to be intercepted there. That was a very scary moment for the Tigers there. It really looked like uh, number 13, Terrell Williams, was going to grab that one. That was a very brave pass there. Long well back with Jameer Thomas. And he's looking to pass. Deep one to Trayvon Morgan, and it's caught! What an amazing catch by Trayvon Morgan. No way. What a catch. What a great throw by Aiden. Now, look at this play here on the replay here. Look at this. Deep one to Trayvon Morgan. He really just made up for the play before when he dropped it in the end zone. Really made up for it there. Great Caught it in bounds, great placement, everything about that play was great. That was also great protection by the offensive line. He had all day to throw that. They give to Jameer Thomas there. But that play was so game changing to, for them to get up to about the 20 yard line. And now there's eight minutes and 30 seconds left here at Tom Benson Hall of Fame Stadium. I mean, this just sets them up for Let's call it very, like, very good opportunities. If Maslin gets this touchdown and gets their PAT, it's all going to be about time. It's all going to be about them running down the clock. And playing good defense. McKinley's going to do the opposite. They get a quick pass to Kutcher. Almost broke away there. Williams tripped up, the receiver. Tripped up at around the 16-yard line. Tigers. Here we go on the replay. Right around two yards shy in the first down on third down. They give it to Jameer Thomas. Thomas. And I think he got the first down there. Right at the 15, tackled by Darrell Daniels. So there's seven minutes and 40 seconds left first here in the fourth quarter. Maslin really proving themselves from the last drive. It is now third. First and 10 on the 15 yard line as the Maslin crowd goes wild. Maslin looking to turn this game around. They give it to Jameer Thomas. Jameer Thomas. Thomas gets much. stopped quickly. Leading the defensive effort, number 53, Chance Gardner. Very nerve-wracking game. The whole game has just been uh, keeping everyone on their toes. There's been no solid lead. Let's see what Masson has in store. Longwell looking to pass. And it's caught by Kutcher. Oh, never mind. It was an incomplete pass. It looked good. Shaken up on the play, the wide receiver, number three, Austin Kutcher. Kutcher is injured on the play very badly, it seems. 
Now, what happened, it looked like Kutcher wasn't ready for the ball. It looked like Aiden threw the ball after, or I mean before Austin Kutcher turned around. So when he turned around, he sees a ball in his face with two corners on him. So he had to get up and grab it and it looked good. It looked like he caught it, but then it must have bounced out of bounds. I must not have seen that. All right, while the coaches tend to this injury, we will hear a word from Mercy Medical Center. Mercy comes to Massillon. Mercy Health Center and StatCare of Massillon is proud to introduce our Mercy Physicians. Pravi Pawa is certified by the American Board of Family Medicine. Lisa Vaughn is certified by the American Osteopathic Board of Family Practice. Both physicians are ready to provide immediate care of minor illnesses and injuries with no appointment necessary. Visit 2935 Lincoln Way West, Massillon, or call 330-236-2300. That's 330-236-2300. Austin Kutcher's now back up and he is running over to the sidelines. He seems okay. However, thank you very much to Mercy Medical Center. Third down and 10 on McKinley's 15 yard line with six minutes and 48 seconds left in the fourth quarter here at Tom Benson Hall of Fame Stadium. Six minutes and 48 seconds here. Longwell looking to pass. He sees Jameer Thomas wide open and he caught that one. Now listen, just a little bit earlier of response time by Longwell, he would have, look at this, if you see, if there was a little bit more of a response time, Thomas would have caught that ball and been in the end zone. Still very great play, now on the eight yard line, fourth and three. Looks Maslin. like the Tigers are gonna try, yeah, the Tigers are gonna try to go for it. I'm not quite sure about this type of call. I, they might wanna just try to tie it up, but they are gonna try to go for it here, it seems. Well now, timeout Maslin, that'll be their first timeout here. And we will return to more action after a word from Maslin Museum. Hi, this is Bill Dorman from the Maslin Tiger Football Booster Club. Please support your Maslin Museum by supporting Issue 18. Issue 18 is a renewal of the Maslin Museum's one mil levy, which has been in effect since 1988 with a small half mil increase. We need the Maslin community to be all in and support Issue 18. Voting yes on issue 18 will keep Maslin Tiger history for future generations. And we are back here at Tom Benson Hall of Fame Stadium. Thank you to Maslin Museum. We Still are back fourth here. and three. Yeah, fourth and three here. Let's see what the Tigers can do. Long well back to pass. Jameer Thomas back there. They're looking to pass here. A quick route to Trayvon Morgan, and he catches it. Touchdown, Maslin. What a great play by the Tigers. What a wonderful catch by Trayvon Morgan. That beautiful throw by Aiden. The Tigers they really needed that. Yeah, now six minutes and two seconds left here. Now if Clay Mole seals this, it could be huge. And he does. Maslin now in the lead, 16 to 15. Six minutes. 
Let's look at this game, this replay right here. Beautiful throw by Aiden, perfectly. Trayvon Morgan for the Maslin touchdown. Great protection by the offensive line. That was just a very well executed play. Good job, Tigers. Now let's get back on defense and play great ball here. Because that's what we need the most still. We can't forget about the other end of the ball. As much as that touchdown helps, and it's great that the Tigers are up by one. I couldn't agree more. The Maston still needs to stay on the defensive game where they need to defend themselves from Chandler. They need to work on taking them down. They just need to work on getting that backfield a lot more quicker. Onside kick. Squid kick, it looks like. I'm not quite sure about that move. Putting McKinley closer. Was picked up on the 42 yard line. I would have liked to see a normal kick there and have Clay Mole try to kick it into the end zone. I think they were trying to avoid giving it to Keyshawn since he's, a, he's very fast. McKinley, 42. Now six minutes and two seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Low snap. Flag on the play. False start in the offense. I'm telling you, this is what's killing the Bulldogs This here. is something they do not want right now. It is now at six of minutes. They don't have that much time to work with. If Massa continues stopping them, they're on their own 37. They are not looking good on the field position. Now first and 15, not the best place to be. Another low snap. They give it to Keyshawn Watson. He breaks two tackles almost. And he's taken down. Keyshawn Watson, the ball carrier. As you can Leading see here, Keyshawn breaks one, almost breaks two, and gets hit quickly. Gets knocked back two yards. Now second and 15. Gain of zero on that play. And they give it to Chandler. Chandler. Breaking away and gets stopped. Run out of bounds by number three. Gain of about one or two on that play. Yeah, he didn't get too many there. Now third and nine. Curtis back to pass, looking almost intercepted. Very close to being intercepted. Great defense by the Tigers there. Now that'll be fourth and nine. What's, what's McKinley gonna do here? As you can see, boom, boom, boom. Two, two options out of an interception, but an incomplete pass could be just as good here if McKinley chooses to punt it out. I don't think McKinley's going to punt it here, though. They do decide to punt it, but they got Elijah they have a Curtis weird formation back there. here. Yeah, they have Elijah Curtis back. Yeah, he's he's punting Punt it here. It. Didn't look like it at first. Looks like the ball is picked up at Maslin's own 17-yard line. Not the best field position, but in the end, Maslin does have the ball back when they have the lead, so now they have time control. Yeah, now five minutes and 
four seconds left in the fourth quarter. They just keep it moving, keep getting their downs reset. They can run this clock out and maybe even score again. Hopefully Maslin here can keep their lead going. Since they have time control, they should be perfectly fine here. And a handoff to Jameer Thomas here. He gets stopped quickly back there. As you can see here, a bread and butter play. Give it to Jameer Thomas and let him get a couple yards. Two and 12. Second and 12. 430 and counting left in the game. Maslin still up 16 to 15. Long well back. Gives it to Jameer Thomas. And that'll bring up third and long. With the football, Jameer Thomas with the tackle, Josh Chandler. Masson's got to do something with their pass game here. They don't want to get can't stuck. Keep, yard line. They can't third keep the running game going nine. all game. Yeah, they got to think of something here to get a pass going. They don't want to be punting it from the 18 yard line. And they do look to pass. A deep one to Kutcher. And he almost had it, but I think they got the pass interference call. Pass interference. As you can see, Kutcher looked very smothered there. And yes, that is going to be pass interference on number two. That's going to be first Broyles. down for Maslin. Yeah, Jaquan, Jaquan Broyles just uh, got his hands on him a little bit too early and uh, broke up the pass. Just like we said before, the, like at the beginning of the game, these penalties are going to cost McKinley. That right there alone could have easily been a fourth down play. They could be getting the ball punted to them, but now they completely reset Maslin's downs. 3.44 left here in the fourth quarter at Tom Benson Hall of Fame Stadium. Maslin still with the time control. I think Maslin's going to try to keep it on the ground here unless they're really trying to go for a score. Yep, they've got they've got uh, Jameer Thomas in the Wildcat here. They're going to try to keep running the ball. He breaks away to the right side. Gets a couple yards there. Now second and eight. Ball on the 36-yard line. And we are going to return to this fourth quarter action after a word with Cosmos Grill. At Cosmos Grill in downtown Maslin, they're just different enough. Cosmos Grill is located in a 150-year-old renovated historic building that features a wonderful dining atmosphere. Try their award-winning Stone Hearth wood-fired pizzas, or how about their tasty homemade soups? Enjoy a great meal featuring your favorite appetizers, salads, and desserts. And don't forget about their seafood, pasta, and sandwiches. So just how different is Cosmos? Just different enough. Visit Cosmos Grill in downtown Maslin. Thank you again to Cosmos Grill. We are back here now. Three minutes and 38 seconds left in the fourth quarter. 
score here is Mass on 16, McKinley 15, and a incomplete pass there intended for uh, Ballard. Um, Ballard wasn't looking really till the last second, and the ball was a little short. Third down and eight. Now third and eight, Maslin's got to do something. They give it to Thomas. See, I don't know if I agree with that. Running the ball. They already blew the whistle, so the steal didn't count. It looks like McKinley's got an injured player. On behalf of the students and staff in the Washington High School Media Arts Department, we wish to thank all of our season-long sponsors during our 50th anniversary year. Without their support, we would not be able to bring you all 10 Tiger regular season games on MCTV Channel 6, 11, and 11. So again, thanks to all of our season-long sponsors. We couldn't do this without you. Yeah, I'm not quite sure who that is injured, but... Let's hope he gets up quickly for a nice recover. Help us celebrate WHS TV's 50th anniversary. Be sure to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. But don't forget to subscribe to us on WHS TV's YouTube channel, where you can see some of WHS TV's best moments. Kinley player seems a little shaken up as he's getting up, but he is okay, walking his way to the sidelines. Yeah, that was number 58, Jordan Gardner, walking to the sidelines. But now, fourth and six. For Maslin, 317 and counting left in the fourth quarter. Clock is running though. Magnus Haynes, punt, set the return. And they're gonna be kicking it to Keyshawn Watson, and this is not what Mass where Maslin wants to be right now. Kicking the ball with the clock running with three minutes left. He punts it far right. but they're gonna let it roll to about the 20 yard line. That's pretty good. That's almost if they kicked it off. So, you know, if you think about it, that's not too bad. Nice punt by uh, Magnus Haynes, number 42. Let's see what the Tiger defense can do. McKinley, if they wanna get some points on the board, they're gonna need to hurry up this possession because they do not have much time left here and they do not want to be running down the clock at all. There's 2.43 left here in the fourth quarter. Balls on McKinley's own 20. First and 10. Still 16 to 15. Tigers lead at McKinley. They have five receivers out there. One in motion. They fake the handoff, looking to pass. And it's a quick pass to 18 there. I don't think that quite went how McKinley wanted it to. Not too bad of a play there. First and 10 for McKinley there. Second and one, apologies, on their own 29. And they give it to Lewis. Lewis breaks away. I'm telling you, that's not what Maslin wanted. I, I knew that if they weren't gonna be able to score, that McKinley could well come back and do something like this. A quick pass, and it's dropped. That was dropped by number nine, Prayer Wise.
Naslin's going to need to really step up their defense here because uh, McKinley isn't in the red zone yet, but if they go to fourth down uh, where they are at, there's still a possibility that they may make it, even though it's about a 40-yard field goal. Hand off to Chandler, and he has stopped. Nice, that was well played by the Tigers. Nice read. Let's get, let's get a four and out here. Make them kick the ball. Make them have to do a bad play on fourth down. There's only one minute and 45 seconds left, and the clock's running. Both crowds are going insane. Curtis looking to pass, and he it drops is the ball. That'll bring up fourth down. Fourth and seven, here's McKinley's chance at a field goal. The good thing, if they do do a field goal, is that still gives Maslin plenty of time to react, but at the same time, they both only have two timeouts left. I don't know though, this is a must stop for Maslin here. But uh, McKinley's going to call the timeout. From the looks of it, looks like they might be deciding here on whether they want to go for it or they just want to do a field goal. Yeah, I, I don't know. I have a feeling that McKinley's going to try to go for the touchdown. I feel like that, too. But, this, uh, this game, so this game today has been a... It's been a pretty, I won't say stale at all because uh, both teams have been playing very good. Maslin's uh, been kind of, they've gotten ran over at the first half of the game when it came to the running game. But they started playing the cards back and then they started mixing it up and it's definitely been getting under McKinley's skin, but now McKinley's really retaliating on it with their run game. Yeah, th this game is a toss up and to me there's no home team and there's no away team. Both of these, teams are so close to each other and all the fans from both sides almost equal out. There might be a little bit more McKinley fans, but I mean, looking over at the Tiger side, there's not too many seats not filled. Here is, a, this will be Mastin's last fight here on fourth down for the game if they do want to keep the lead. They are going for the field goal, McKinley did. Whenever they tried this last year, they did miss it, allowing Mastin to win last year. Another timeout. Timeout Maslin. Another timeout, wow. Both teams with only one timeout left. This has definitely been one of the This has definitely been one of the best games that I have witnessed because no there's really no true winner here. Maslin 16, McKinley's 15. This isn't a blowout. They've been it, They've been constantly fighting all day. And both teams have been playing well. They really have. Keyshawn, at the first half of the game, he was doing completely great. He was insane. And with us, we have Austin Kutcher, Aiden. It's Jameer, just, many, yeah. many great players from both sides of the ball. Jameer has probably had the ball more times this game than anyone else. They still are going to go for this field goal. As I said before, this is Maslin's last fighting chance right now. Oh. And it's far left. It, it's no good. No good. Mas Maslin has been saved once again by the missed field goal for two years in a row. Wow, what an amazing turn of events there. 124 left in the fourth quarter, and now Maslin has the ball. Everything is in their favor right now. They just need to focus on not turning it over, and the game is Maslin's. Mass possibility of Maslin's 70th win against McKinley in history. Yeah, at the 128th meeting. This is so crazy. Let's see what the Tigers do here. They give it to Thomas. And Thomas gets stopped there. 
Uh, I think McKinley just used their last timeout. Timeout, Stanton. That's their final timeout. Yep, that's McKinley's final timeout there. McKinley's now out of the timeouts. Maslin still has one left. Maslin is still up by one point, and they have the ball on the final drive with a minute and 19 left. All right, and we'll be back with more fourth quarter action after a word from Maslin City Schools. Maslin City Schools is proud to have one of the top career technical education programs in the state of Ohio, recently receiving a number one ranking of the 93 districts in the area of achievement. Our career technical education department offers 14 pathways preparing students for college and careers. All students have the opportunity to participate and compete in their career technical student organization, as well as obtain valuable experience in the field while earning aligned industry credentials and or college credit in high school. Visit maslinschools.org for more information. Thank you again to Maslin City Schools as Zamir gets a free lane stopped at the 30-yard line. A minute 10 left here in the fourth quarter. The Tigers crowd is erupting. They are going to knee it. There's a flag on the play. I'm not quite sure what it is. Dead ball. Encroachment on the defense. Five yards. Another false start call. I mean, that's laughable at this stage in the game. Yeah, really, no kidding. They've been getting called on false starts, personal fouls, encroachment. It's, it's happened all game. McKinley's just had no luck today. 8-1, and one, about to turn 8-2. and two. Maybe 8-2, and two, you never know. Now 25 Five. seconds left. And going fourth quarter. As the teams line up. That is all. That is all here tonight. McKinley getting upset. The team is so, they are not happy. I wouldn't be either. The second year this happened. Just, they're never lucky, man. Penalty is all day. They get a missed field goal. They've done nothing but lose yards. The clock hits zero. The final score here at Tom Benson Hall of Fame Stadium. And Maslin keeps the bell. And Maslin keeps the bell. The score here is 16 Maslin, McKinley 15. Still, nonetheless, a very well executed game for both teams. McKinley, they didn't get walked on. Maslin didn't either. It was very dead even. And the bell will stay at Maslin. That's just, what an amazing game. Maslin now with 70 wins against McKinley compared to their 53. What an amazing game. I just can't even express to you. I cannot oh, fathom seniors. it. Yeah, just the seniors for the Maslin side, they're just going insane on the sidelines. Maslin now celebrating over on their side of the student section. I don't even know what to say, I mean. Who do you think the MVP of this game was? I, I can't even tell you. Everybody on the Maslin side played great. Um, Aiden Longwell, agenda, Aiden Longwell coming back from that injury, he just, it helped so much. I 
I just cannot get over how great of a game that was. Yeah, I mean... Really kept you on your toes until Maslin scored once again, keeping it 16-15 to and keeping McKinley stopped up. McKinley missing that field goal was such a... That was such a deciding factor for this game. Yeah, I mean... They put the kicker in a bad position anyways. With that much pressure on you, I mean, I can't say I blame him. Yeah. This now makes McKinley 8-2, and, and this makes Maslin 7-3. Yeah, this is awesome. Seeing the joy on the Tigers' faces. All of our seniors are so excited. The 2017 Great American Robbery Series, presented by Green Box, would now like to honor today's most valuable player. Yeah, this and game would consisted of many run plays, um, some trickery, and just a great game overall. This is definitely one of those games that you can tell are different from the others because it, that's when you start noticing a team starts switching it up. Tigers start running a lot more. McKinley always they've always stuck with the run game, and it's always fit them well. As you can watch. Tigers run game, their th passing game this game was really good. They had uh, the Bulldogs with Keyshawn and Chandler, and Chandler was running all over defense. winner of the MVP award, junior running back number 16, Jameer Thomas. Well, it was crazy. Looks like Jameer Thomas won the rivalry series MVP, I think. Yes, he did. Played very well today. Did a great also job now, of keeping the chains moving for Maslin. The Great American Robbery Series and Brain Box are proud to recognize the winning school, the Maslin Washington Tigers, as a 2017 Great American Robbery Series champion. Congratulations to everyone who participated. Special thanks to the folks of Brain Box for their sponsorship of the 2017 Great American Rivalry Series. And we would like to add our thanks to the folks of the Great American Rivalry Series for their support, bringing an extra layer to this classic series. We'd like to take time to thank the new blood of young broadcasters helping us visually here at Tom Benson Hall of Fame Stadium during the season. From the alma mater, Mr. Bill Widener, and yours truly, Kent State University. A big thank you to Brandon Young, Suzanne Ketchum, Aaron Dixon, Madison Bitzel, and our own Kent McKinley grad and now Kent State University student. Great to see Serene Parks for her work during the season from Malone University, Canton Timken product, Alana Singleton. And here today, we're told, from our CCSD broadcast program, we saw Nia Williams and joined by Essence Bradley. I want to pass along special thanks to my colleagues of many years in three different Canton City press boxes, who this season have had to put up with me seven times over the 10 week stretch. Mr. Bill Widener, Mr. Greg Galladay, Mr. Steve Katima, Ms. April Wire, and special thanks to today's spotter, Mr. Bruce Yeager. I want to say thanks to McKinley Athletic Director Greg Malone, Director of Sports, Recreation, and Physical Education, Sean Stranger, and McKinley Principal Corey Grubbs. And most of all, on behalf of Superintendent Adrian Allison and our Board of Education, thanks to all of you for joining us. We would like to thank everybody that Benson helped on our crew today. Final score um, for the final time.
Kira Sheely, Evan Orlando, Carter Nutter, and of course me, Darren Washington. And we'd also like to thank our adult instructors, Mr. Farrell and Mr. Dewald. Thanks again, everyone, for tuning in. Go Tigers! How's your home? Safeguard knows, and you can too. Wherever you are, day or night, whatever you're doing, Safeguard Home Security is professionally monitoring your home 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You can check on your home from anywhere at any time on your smartphone, tablet, or computer. The Safeguard app makes it easy to put your mind at ease. Safeguard Security from MCTV. Your home is just fine.